Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, guys. I want to give um, kudos to um, Wavy News 10. Kudos to Wavy News 10, guys. Um, Keisha has now made um, Channel 10 News here in Norfolk, Virginia, guys. Ch uh, Keisha Williams has now made it on WTKR Channel 3, also Channel 10 News, um, as a missing person. Um, but we got to remember, guys, be careful what we tell these people, like the police department. Be careful what we tell people out there because, y'all, I want y'all to check this out. Check this out for me. I want y'all to check this out one second, okay? Y'all check this out. Everyone keep putting on her page that she's a runaway. We don't know if she's a runaway. We're not for sure if she's not kidnapped. People are alleging. That she's a runaway and when we start stamping her as a runaway it take the severity of looking for her away so everyone putting up their runaway then you know like we don't know she ran away the main thing that we want posted on her page is that she's missing whether she ran away walked away she is a way so she's missing so we need to take those we need to get the news station the police department everybody start assuming that she's a runaway this is a this is an assumption of what y'all think happened to her. Y'all assuming. I mean, hey, we praying that she ran away. We hope that she ran away, but we do not know if she ran away. So we don't need to put that title on top of her heads when it's been five days that she's been gone. All we need to be focusing focusing on news station outlets, the, um, the Norfolk Police Department also known for detectives is that we have a missing 12 year old child and she's been missing since thursday of last week let's cut out the runaway because when y'all put runaway up there everybody knows that make a person say, oh she's been grown oh she's okay maybe she's at a friend house but we don't know that we know she could have been oh, oh we know she could have been lured away from home she could have been convinced to leave home by someone on the internet. We don't know. So stop stamping her like a piece of beef. Stop doing that. Keep it open. Let's focus on her just being missing in the 757. Take away, run away. Missing. Amber alert. Push. 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 Everybody. Push. Five days out there. I don't care where she at by now. Ain't no regular grown up like myself or you. Allowing this 12 year old child to be in your house for five days. I'm not going to do it. You're not going to do it. I'm not going to feed nobody else's child for five days. And I'm not going to speak with. I'm not going I'm, I'm to have nobody else's child in my house for five days. And I have not spoken to the parents. That is clue number one. Something is not right. That is a definite clue that something not right. Everybody, I just left the doctor's office. I've been there for hours. Everybody in this world know about that 12-year-old little girl that's missing. So there's no way a woman like myself of my character of or of your character is going to allow her to stay in your house. She has to be in the company of someone that don't mean her no good. Okay. She has to be in the company of someone that don't mean her no good. And I pity the fool if you are an adult and you have her, her in your house. Right now, you're going to be charged. I mean, simple as that. You're going to be charged. Ain't no if, ands, buts about it. Your, your butt going to be charged, okay? You don't keep nobody child for five days. This ain't no damn, um, this ain't no um, come come to the library, borrow a book, and bring it back when you feel like it. No, it ain't, it, this ain't that type of party here. So if you have that little girl in your house and you know everybody out there looking for her and it's been it's on news now, it's blaster everywhere. Now we need it on our interstates. Now we need to get her on the interstates where the bulletin boards are saying she's missing. Guys, I'm really as the days go by, I'm getting more worried about her. As the hours tick by, me and you as a team, this our third night that we're gonna see. That dark time is coming. It's about to turn night again. For three nights, you and I has been looking for her for three nights. But they was already looking for her before we got into it. Before I found out about it. She been gone since Thursday. That's five days. But we've done seen three days, three days and nights come and go. 
I'm becoming worried about her. I, maybe I ain't praying hard enough. Maybe you ain't praying hard enough. Maybe I ain't searching hard enough. Maybe you ain't searching hard enough. Maybe I ain't sharing hard enough. Maybe you ain't sharing hard enough. We can do more as a community. I know we can. As a community, we can do more. If it was my child, I would expect better out of the community. Especially with her being 12. I feel like I ain't doing enough. I feel like y'all ain't doing enough. I feel like the police ain't doing enough. I feel like the news ain't doing enough. I feel like mama ain't doing enough. I know the system out there busts the streets wide open. I just feel like we can do better as a community. I know we can. I know somebody knows something. I know somebody knows something about this baby. I know it. Talk. Make a fake Facebook page. Tell somebody. Tell somebody where she is. If she's home, we can fix her. If she been violated, we can counsel her. But enough is enough. Wherever she is, it's not good. Wherever she is, it's not a good thing. If you have her, let her go, please. Come home and heal. Please. Kids, I know y'all watching. I know y'all following. Auntie wrote a love all of you guys. Our cup is overflowing right now. Would you want your mother to go through what her mother is going through and her family going through? Would you want that? If you know where she is, if she's really a friend of yours, if she's really a friend of yours, tell everybody where she is so she can come home. Because wherever she at, she's been used and she's been abused. Whatever she's doing, she should not be doing at 12 years old. If anybody out there doing something to her, they should not be doing that to her at 12 years old. Guys, share her picture. Share the videos. Ask your kids, have they seen her? Do they know her? If you know something, say something. Because what if it was your child? What if it was your child. Do you own a copy shop here in the 757? Can you make us some free flyers that we can post? Can you donate some flyers? Can you contact someone so we can pick them up and we can pass them out? I think now it's time for us to hit these streets. It's past time that she come home. It's past time that she come home. You have to look to understand the depth of this situation is. She's only 12. She's not even a teenager. Look around your house. 
Look at what your grandkids. Look at your own 11 or 12 year old. Look at your 13 year old. See how small they are. See how tiny they are. Can you just for a moment imagine that child of yours or that grandchild of yours been missing over five days and no one, not even a friend, has seen or heard from her? Not even a friend has seen from her, guys. She have not touched her Instagram. She don't have Facebook. She have not made one post on her Instagram. Instagram. By now, all the kids in the neighborhood that thought it was funny just the other day, now they are worry and worry about where she is. They don't even know. After five days, one of the kids would have said something. It's bigger than a runaway. It's bigger than a runaway. And even if she ran away, she could have ran away in the wrong person's arms because they haven't brought her back home. If you got kids in your house, you got grandkids in the house, know that you are blessed because your kids are in the house. But learn to cry for other people because her mother is hurting. Her mother that raised her is hurting. Her mother that birthed her is hurting. Her sisters and brothers are hurting. I'm hurting. People out here hurting for this baby. It's only a baby. She was only... I've been here 48 years. Four times. Four times the year she been on this earth. She shouldn't be been here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lousy years on this earth. She's not even under old enough to understand these streets. I'm telling y'all, wherever she's at, can you imagine who, who keep a 12 year old little girl with them for five days? Can you imagine the things that's been done to her? Come on now. Come on now. For what other reason would somebody uh, keep a 12-year-old child with them, a young lady? For what reason would they want her around them if they're not doing things unworthy? Come on now. Get serious. I need for y'all to get mad as hell. I need for y'all to get fat the fuck up. I need for you to imagine your imagination. Close your eyes and imagine the things that she's going through. They ain't got her there to go play on the playground. They ain't keeping her and feeding her to play Baba Jacks. They ain't keeping her to, to comb dog baby hair. They're not doing that. So take away the word run away. I hope she is a runaway. But ran to where? If she ran away, where did she run to? She's missing and in danger. That's what she is. She's not a runaway. She's missing and in danger. I am the infinite Miss Road in your life. And we're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until we get some answers. Don't know child. Just disappear off the face of the earth. It don't happen like that. Kids are not made of gases where the gas just disappear. That's somebody's child. Somebody, baby. That's missing right here. At our own front door. You not watching the first 48 hours. You not watching Lost and Found. You ain't watching a television show on BET. You ain't watching a lifetime story. 
You're watching what's really going on in the 757. You're watching a 12-year-old girl go missing and unfound. This is what you are experiencing. How long it took to get the police involved. How long it took to get the news involved. And we still don't have the little girl home. But just what if? Everybody would have acted sooner. We could have had her home by now. But just what if? Who to say? What could have been prevented? If everybody was on the same page. It should be scary across the board for all of us. For everybody. Or how they're going to deal with one of us. Not just me. You or anybody else. If somebody come missing in the 757. This is the perfect example. And it's sad. It had to be a 12 year old. To show us how less of importance we are to the people of the 757. We got shootings here every day. Some make the news. And some don't. I choose not to, to talk about it. I don't like to promote violence. It, I, it's just not my thing promoting violence. People get shot right here in the 757 every day. They have someone right here in the 757 that's randomly shooting at cars. And they ain't go, they so they such a coward. They won't even tell y'all that. That y'all need to be safe out here because somebody randomly shooting at cars. Why you think I'm always watching? Why you think I'm always watching? It's happening. It's several cases that has not been reported to you guys that somebody's driving up and just shooting people. Thank you, Shanique, for the $10 donation. Thank you. It's happening. They're not telling y'all everything that's going on. One lady shot in her head right over her eye. Driving down the street. A man looked at her. He didn't look at her right. And he lit it again. Thank you, Ke oh, Ke Keisha, for the $25 donation. Shot her right in her head. It lodged in her eye, over top of her eye. Y'all didn't see that on news. The young man in Barra Park, bisexual, I mean gay, just walking home. A guy pulled right up, looked at him, pulled out a gun. He took off running for his life. The guy was shooting him down, shooting him down till he shot him down. That didn't make it on news. So much stuff that don't make it on news that I know about that I just don't say nothing about. Because this world is so scary. It's a scary world out here. And I don't want to be out here on these streets certain times of night. It's not safe in Norfolk, Virginia. It was a shooting that made news on the interstate last night. Someone just driving down the interstate. Thank you, Dion, for the $10 donation. Just driving down the interstate. Someone shot at them. They ain't telling y'all this. All these random shootings at cars ain't just happening. Anything that happened more than twice or three times, it is it, 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 it's repeated behavior. It's repeated behavior. It's happening here in the 757. We don't know what happened to the car that got shot up the other night. We don't know. But 2.30 in the morning, 20-year-old girl lost her life. 2.30 in the morning in the car. It's happening. They don't want to share with y'all. And I don't like to share because I don't like promoting violence. I don't like giving it my attention. And it's scary to report those type of stories. But what's most scary of all? I know I got to go. I know God has already stamped the day and time that we all must go and leave this earth. But what I'm most concerned of at this moment in my life. Where is the missing 12 year old here in the 757? What buy for me and will continue 
to baffle me is how long it took for our news station and our police department to team up to help find this 12 year old little girl. But one thing I can guarantee you guys, thank you Tracy for the $10. One thing I can truly, truly guarantee you guys, if it was one of their own children, it would not have taken as long. If it was one of the detective kids, it would have been an open case. Instantly. If it was one of the news reporter kids, it would have been an open case instantly. This mother had to go five days, four days, three nights, and won't nobody help her. I had to stand in front of the police department, in front of their sign, go in there and try to talk to a detective. I had to turn against the news station and call them out, disrespect them, talk to them like they ain't shit. Once again, once again, yet, yeah, once again, when one of our kids came missing, I did the same thing for Asia Colwell. I stood right out there. We won't nobody even share her story. I sacrificed. It went against my own beliefs and not share dangerous stuff. But if I didn't do it, then who was going to do it? And if I don't do it now, and if you don't do it now, who's going to do it? What I'm asking you guys, if the family and Norfolk police have not come up with Keisha Williams by tomorrow, I'm asking that we all come together as a community and surround her house to let her family know that the community is standing by them. And we're here to help. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Live. If she's, thank you, Krista, for the $50 donation. If she's not found, guys, by tomorrow, I'm asking y'all to come with me around 5 o'clock and surround her house and let the public know and the neighborhood know and her mother know that they are not. Thank you, Eric, for the donation here by themselves that we're out here with them. Thank you for the $20 donation, Eric, that we're out here with them looking for her. And we're going to look for her like everybody else look for their kids. Not on our watch. Not on our watch. And we want anybody to know that have her against her will, that have did some things to her that should not have been done to a child yet 12 years old. We'll just say enough has already been said. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Live. Where it is a sad day here in Norfolk, Virginia. Where yet another night is coming. And another night the 12 year old has not yet made it home. Until we meet again. I'm Rhoda Young Live. Rhoda Young Live. Rhoda Young Live. And we're still on the scene of this right now. I can't do it by myself. You can't do it by yourself. The news station can't do it by themselves. Her family can't do it by themselves. We all got to come together as one and do it together. There is no I in team. Teamwork make dream work. Rhoda Young Live. Thank you. Someone said something about negative... Um, about 